It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Wei Wu. Uh, Dr. Wu is our pediatric orthopedic fellow um, here at UCSF uh, Bay of Children's Hospital. Um, he went to medical school at Tufts University um, and did his orthopedic residency at St. Mary's Medical Center. Um, and after his time with us here at UCSF, he plans to pursue another fellowship in spine surgery at U and will be at UCLA next year. Um, in the hopes of um, becoming an ac academic uh, pediatric orthopedic surgeon with a special interest in spine and hip preservation. So welcome, uh, Dr. Wu. Thank you so much for the introduction. It's an honor to be here. Uh, my name is Wei. Um, today I would like to talk about bone and joint infections in children. Um, I have no disclosures. Um, so pediatric MSK infections are uh, important. Uh, they're, uh, they're common and they have de devastating consequences. And uh, today I want to focus my talk on septic arthritis and uh, osteomyelitis uh, with a brief discussion of transient synovitis as it, it is an important differential um, to rule out. Um, so starting with transient synovitis, it is a benign and uh, self-limiting um, as it doesn't uh, have the, um, the permanent um, cartilage damage that's uh, typical of a septic arthritis, um, but it is, it is an inflammatory um, process of the synovium. Uh, it's most common in children three to 10 years old uh, and the etiology is unclear, but um, most um, uh, most presentations has this preceding um, infection, uh, most uh, most commonly upper respiratory infection, um, or um, in the case of bacteria bacteremia or other uh, system, uh, ma uh, systemic infection is also common. Um, also, uh, it's more rare, but we also see it in hypersensitivity um, reactions, um, drug reactions, or there's, and there's some um, associations with um, leg health persis disease, um, although that's not well delineated. Um, the typical um, uh, natural um, course of the patient presenting with transient synovitis, um, you will see fever. Um, um, it's typically less, uh, uh, um, it's milder than a septic or, um, um, or osteomyelitic um, picture, but um, typically does have a fever and um, it usually um, presents with acute pain um, in the hip that imp improves over um, 24 uh, to 48 hours. Um, in a neonate, particularly, you will see unilateral limb disuse, uh, night lay my um, uh, have poor feeding as well. Um, um, there's usually a limited um, passive and active range of motion of the hip. Um, um, although one out of three patients on average um, can, can have normal range of motion of the hip. Um, the typical course is one to two weeks um, until resolution of the uh, symptoms. Sometimes it can take a little longer as well. Um, transient cellulitis is a diagnosis exclusion. Um, typically, um, uh, it was um, already mentioned, but fever usually is a little uh, milder. Um, inflamed, uh, since it's a diagnosis of exclusion, um, um, uh, serum um, inflammatory markers are um, typically obtained, and they are they can be abnormal, although they are also less. Um, 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 less elevated. Um, this um, graph on the right is a um, er, from one of the earlier studies looking at the um, difference between CRP and ESR. They're both uh, kind of non-specific inflammatory markers, although CRP has been shown to be more having more of a um, 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 uh, ac uh, acute uh, um, earlier peak and also trends uh, um, according to the um, 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 trends um, downtrends a little faster as well as the um, as the inflammation uh, inflammation comes down, um, and CRP um, also has been shown to be more um, 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 uh, specific to um, septic arthritis as well. Can be an independent risk factor for septic arthritis. Um, peripheral uh, white counts usually elevated as well. Um, um, typical um, typical imaging studies um, on X-ray are usually um, uh, normal for transient synovitis. Um, ultrasonography is usually obtained as well. Um, as you can see here, um, uh, here is the femoral epiphysis, and here's the metaphysis. Um, this is the, the C uh, over here is the joint capsule, and you can see that there's an effusion uh, just in front of the femoral uh, metaphysis here, um, compared to the contralateral. 
Oh, I can't see my cursor. Compared to the control uh, control level, which is on the um, um, on the left side there, on the right side, um, uh, where the um, effusion is not seen. You can see the arrow there on the left picture. That's where the effusion is. Usually about five millimeters of difference uh, compared to the other side is considered positive. Um, so um, once um, transsensitive virus, if um, once its um, diagnosis is made, uh, it's generally supportive uh, treatment uh, with anti-inflammatory medications um, to help with, with the systemic um, uh, symptoms. Um, local treatments such, such as warm compress, compress is also um, helpful with the symptoms and a short course of activity modification uh, usually help as well. Um, in our institution, um, we often uh, admit these patients for 24 hours um, or 40 hours to train their um, inflammatory markers, make sure that they're getting better and that a septic arthritis is completely ruled out. Um, the most common complication for uh, transsensitive virus is recurrence, and the rate can be as high. It's being reported as high as 20%. Um, it's most common within the first year. It can be as high as 70%. Um, there's, um, um, was mentioned before, but there's a, um, a rare kind of association with uh, late calperthes, which is um, kind of this idiopathic uh, osteonecrosis of the femoral epiphysis. Um, um, uh, although more studies um, has to, um, ha is yet to be done to delineate this, um, but some people does uh, advocate a monitoring in patients who's had a recent transsensitive virus to, uh, to, to follow this up. And um, Casa Magna has also been reported as well, um, which is most common with patients uh, who initially present with a, um, a, joint, a medial joint space widening initially. Okay. Uh, moving on to septic arthritis, um, this is a diagnostic challenge um, with um, devast uh, more devastating uh, long-term um, 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 outcomes. Um, typically, patients present like as shown in this picture, where um, the hip is um, flexed and, and slightly externally rotated. Um, this is this kind of accommodates the increase in capsular um, pressure. Um, the, the cause for um, septic arthritis comes from um, colonization of the synovial joint by the uh, microorganism and uh, can be direct or indirect and direct from inoculation, um, either through trauma, penetrating trauma, or from a needle iatrogenically or from surgery. Uh, most commonly. Um, and if it's spread uh, indirectly, um, it can spread from locally from the metaphysis with a concomitant um, osteomyelitis or can be spread hem um, from um, distant and from hemat uh, hematogenous uh, spread as well um, with a distant abscess or, um, or another infection in the lung, for example. Um, um, and this is um, the pathol anatomy is that there's a pyogenic effusion uh, within the synovia that causes direct cartilage uh, damage and also increases the uh, intraarticular pressure. Um, and so um, um, in contrast to, um, to transsensitive virus, so um, most of the um, young patients younger than eight, two years old um, commonly um, has septic arthritis. So if a patient that um, has this um, kind of um, unclear picture, if a patient um, is younger than two years old, our, uh, my, my suspicion for septic arthritis is higher. Um, uh, up to 60% 60, 60 of these cases, um, a lot of times you're unable to un identify the uh, organism, and that's why understanding uh, common, common cause based on uh, common causative um, agent based on kind of age and um, other risk factors can be helpful. Um, so um, for neonates, zero to one year uh, year old, um, GBS, um, group B strep is the most common. Um, grenade bacilli is also common as well. From one to five years old, staph aureus, um, um, Kinjala kinge, um, strep pneumo, and um, um, if unvaccinated, um, Haemophilus um, uh, influenza is also common. And staph aureus, as you can see, is, um, uh, is the most common. Um, cause of the organism. 
um, for patients, for adolescents, um, um, if patients are sexually active, you are, um, you have a suspicion for an acerial gonorrhea as well. Um, so um, for Kingella Kinge um, septic arthritis, um, the presentation is usually uh, milder. So um, all of the fever might be a little less, um, the inflammatory markers uh, might be um, less um, um, uh, elevated as well. And also with the range of motion, um, sometimes even with weight bearing, they can, um, they can toe touch weight bearing a lot of the time. So they can present a little typical. And for King 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 Jola King Gay, um, and uh, Samelella um, can be um, can be um, uh, found often in, in sickle cell disease. Um, otherwise, immunocompromised patients um, can has a, uh, have a typical uh, microorganisms as well, uh, pseudomonas, uh, anaerobes, or fungal infections. Um, Lyme arthritis, um, as a part of Lyme disease, is also another entity that's important to roll out for patients who uh, has kind of like the um, overall picture with the um, uh, erythema migraines and migratory polyarthrosia, um, and uh, have recent travel to the, um, to um, these areas um, as the um, Lyme um, arthritis uh, is treated. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. Um, as as Lyme um, arthritis is um, treated um, um, differently um, without surgery and, uh, and typically with a course of in or antibiotics. Um, so, septic arthritis is caused by cartilage damage as early as eight hours after inoculation. These are from uh, early animal studies, um, but it's a multicellular process and the um, 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 due to cytotoxins, uh, for example, uh, MRSA has um, PVL or pentavalentin uh, leukocytin. It's an exotoxin that um, uh, kind of induce, induces pores in the um, um, in the leukocytes, um, which releases these um, direct. Uh, cytotoxic um, um, cytokines and also proteolytic enzymes that um, that cause direct injury to the um, chondrocytes and the um, um, the collagen and the um, proteoglycan matrix. Um, yeah, the in increased um, intra-articular um, pressure also causes ischemia and causes um, um, continuing damage to the cartilage as well. This is just a picture that shows um, kind of um, um, the two concepts um, of kind of how it spreads. So uh, in the hip, the synovium is um, in, in encapsulates the metaphysis and the epiphysis. So if you have a concomitant uh, in metaphysial um, osteomyelitis, a lot of times it can um, uh, it can spread into the joint, as opposed to the knee where the synovium on, um, only covers the epiphysis here. It does not include the metaphysis, so it um, has less um, kind of theoretic uh, chance to spread into the joint from the metaphysis. Um, for patients who are 18 months and younger, um, um, often present is the this transphysial uh, um, a blood vessel across the physis that can also um, help uh, spread um, um, infection into the joint. Um, and you can see that on the on the left uh, picture. Um, so, um, so septic arthritis um, history um, and physical examinations uh, important. So. Um, um, so recent fever, trauma, um, or systemic infection, or um, another inf infection somewhere, um, or recent um, hospital stay or surgery, for example. Um, physical examination, again, um, non way bearing um, um, a, a, a limp or um, fever and um, and, um, um, and so on. Um, so laboratory evaluation includes serum um, white count, ESR, CRP, um, and blood cultures. Um, imaging x-rays um, usually um, a lot of time can show um, um, lucencies um, and also to rule out other um, fractures, for example. Ultrasound, um, is, if it's for the hip, um, we talk about the effusion. Um, and the MRI um, to, to look at um, um, any um, soft tissue uh, involvement around the um, joint um, or abscesses, um, as particularly in case of a typical clinical course. 
Um, um, ultrasynthesis um, is the gold standard in our diagnosis of this. If in the hip, ultrasound guided or um, IR or in the operating room, um, um, usually um, a lot of times you can see gross purulence from this ultrasynthesis. Um, and for um, cell analysis, um, white count and greater than 50 degrees, uh, 50 and 1,000 cells um, is diagnostic. Although sometimes you can see, definitely can see um, less than um, 50. Um, and then greater than 75% PMNs is also another high risk. Um, culture um, um, and gram stem, again, it's not always um, um, positive. And PCR in a typical case, uh, typical cases, especially if you're um, um, uh, suspecting King Jala, King Gay, for example. Um, so the culture or coker criteria um, is a commonly used, um, it's a four variable criteria. Um, so weight bearing, um, fever greater than 38.5 um, Celsius, um, peripheral white count greater than 12K, uh, and ESR greater than 40. Um, three, uh, having three out of the four factors um, give you a um, positive predictive value of greater than 93%. Having four is almost 100%. And so it's very, very um, um, helpful and we commonly use it. Um, CRP, um, um, has been shown again um, as an independent risk factor um, and greater than 20 is um, the cutoff. And so for septic arthritis, um, typically it's involves in admission to a hospital. Uh, we start empiric therapy uh, of antibiotics after osteosynthesis. Um, um, infectious disease is usually involved early on um, and uh, uh, the agent that um, and the um, antibiotic agent that we use um, kind of depend on um, these um, um, for either the risk factors that we um, talked about before and also the age as well. But typically, um, zero to three months old, um, vancomycin and gentamicin to cover gooby strap um, and staph aureus um, being the most uh, common. Um, and then um, a third generation, um, several sporin, um, if um, to cover H influenza for patients who are unvaccinated. And then um, for three years and above, usually we just use um, first generation several sporin, uh, um, for example. Um, MRSA coverage is also considered um, based on um, the hospital or community uh, microbial data. Um, duration is usually around four weeks. Um, uh, and that can be a combination of IV per, um, and oral antibiotics. Um, other medications that are helpful, um, anti-inflammatory uh, NSAIDs um, uh, to help with the symptoms and inflammation um, in the joint. Um, Corosteroids has some, show some benefit later in the disease course, although theoretically um, there's um, 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 in the setting of a, um, um, a infection, typically it's not used. Um, Septic arthritis for the operative treatment is um, the timing is emergent. The goal is to uh, control the source and also to decompress the joint. So that does not continue to cause um, uh, intraarticular pressure and ischemia and um, direct chondral uh, damage as well. And additional specimen um, can be obtained. Um, uh, and um, we do this um, either open or arthroscopy or per, um, percutaneous, and we kind of decide on that upon um, uh, the thoroughness um, that we're able to do. And also um, um, we consider repeat interventions. Um, 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 there are some studies that have shown that um, particularly in the knee joint where open arthrotomy is um, uh, associated with repeat um, washouts in the operating room. Um, that's what I meant by, by that part there. Um, and also um, concomitant osteomyelitis would, um, um, uh, would need to be um, um, open, done through an open approach as well. Um, so um, septic arthritis, if it's um, um, 
uh, managed properly, overall outcome is good. Um, uh, with delayed treatment, there are um, osteonecrosis, um, subluxation or dislocation of the joint, such as seen here, um, chondrolysis, um, gross arrest, as you can imagine from um, epiphysis or uh, physio injury, um, which can also cause deformity, uh, latent dis um, discrepancy, and um, ankylosis or um, pathologic fusion across the joint. Um, so for summary, um, septic arthritis is common uh, and devastating potentially um, in pediatric patients, uh, most commonly caused by staph aureus, but other organizers also considered based on other risk factors and age, um, diagnosis based on um, physical exam history, labs, and osteosynthesis. Um, treatment is antibiotics um, and surgical debridement. Um, antibody choice and duration is based on microbiology and their clinical response. Okay, moving on to osteomyelitis. Um, so this is an actual um, infection of the bone. Um, and uh, this causes a high burden of disease. Um, we categorize this um, by chronicity, chronicity, acute being less than two weeks, and sub, uh, sub acute um, two to three months, and more than three months considered chronic. Um, children um, less than five years old are at highest risk for um, uh, osteomyelitis, although you can see this across um, a different um, age range. Um, Risk factors for uh, for osteomyelitis other than age um, includes other um, infection, um, urinary or respiratory, uh, recent trauma, um, uh, male gender, um, sur recent surgery, or um, um, retained foreign body. Um, osteomyelitis on imaging or just pathophysiology involves um, a, a, in this. Um, and in the setting of chronic osteomyelitis, um, includes a, a sequestrum where the um, the bone is becoming necrotic, um, with surrounding granulation uh, tissue, um, and this um, adds uh, acts as a nidus for chronic osteomyelitis, um, and involucum, which um, you can see as kind of this hyper. Um, uh, this opaque um, area on x-ray where you can see um, the new, new layer of bone um, growing outside of the sequestrum, trying to seal it all from normal tissue. Um, sometimes the pressure inside the uh, involucrum might be so large that it can perforate um, through the involucrum and creates um, cloaca, um, cloaca, or um, basically a perforation. Um, um, distinct from a pathological fracture, which can also occur um, with something like this. Um, if the um, if the um, purulence from the uh, within the sacrum continue to um, drain out from the cloaca out um, and then continues out to the skin, it would be a sign. We call it a sinus tract, and so um, you can, and um, the presence of sinus tract is by definition um, uh, osteomyelitis clinically. All right, um, so again, um, similar to septic arthritis, myocardial biology is deferred by age. Uh, again, staph aureus is the most common overall. Um, and special considerations are newborns, again, sickle cell disease, um, recent uh, history of puncture, um, um, penetrating um, uh, trauma, uh, sexually active patients, or patients with heterosexual abuse, um, and also immunization status as well. Um, so uh, for neonates, um, could be strap again and staph aureus, um, and also grand natives. Um, and then for a younger child from one to four year old, again so staph aureus and then congela, um, congela kinge. And then um, for older child, uh, again staph aureus is most common. And then um, you again can see nicerea gonorrhea for um, adolescents um, and for. Um, um, a typical organisms, um, here you can see salmonella um, for sickle cell disease and also um, micro um, bacteria for, um, for, um, for immunocompromised patients. Um, and so history, um, we um, obviously, um, the previously uh, discussed risk factors, weight-bearing status, um, usually, um, uh, usually it's um, 
um, the patients um, are non weight bearing um, location or symptoms. Usually, the um, the pain um, the pain is directly over where the um, the infection is. Um, Vital signs, um, including fever. Uh, fever can be uh, much um, on the higher side. Um, and a focal tenderness, limited range of motion. Um, if um, if it's very severe, then you have a, um, um, a suspicion for for a concomitant um, um, septic arthritis as well. Um, radiographs um, is helpful. You can see lucency in the metaphysis here, for example, on the on that picture, on that x-ray of the knee, and the MRI of the same patient, um, you can see hyperintensity in around the um, the um, uh, the necrotic um, part of the affected metaphysis, and also um, um, the periosteal kind of involvement as well. Uh, so the MRI really can show you the extent of um, the, the disease. Biopsy is um, uh, is also an important consideration. There are more and more studies coming out saying that um, but, um, 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 getting a biopsy before an empiric um, antibiotic treatment or surgical treatment, um, more than sixty percent of the time can change the um, the actual agent that we use for uh, for treatment. Um, and these uh, a lot of times can be done um, through IR as well. Um, um, so antibiotic treatment, um, empiric uh, treatment can be initiated after the diagnosis and blood culture is obtained. Um, and the agent that we use uh, based on risk factors, um, common cause of the organisms, and uh, microbial data of the institution or in the community. Um, uh, usually it's a short course of IV treatment followed by um, PO uh, antibiotics. Um, usually it's about four weeks total for acute um, um, osteomyelitis. And surgical um, debridement is um, um, not the go-to, but um, for a treatment, for medical treatment failure um, um, or concomitant abscess or um, uh, around um, the osteomyelitis um, that needs source control in that area or something that needs to decompress. Um, would be an indication. So like for example here on x-ray you can't see it but you can see the kind of um, the, the radio opaque area that's suspicious and on MRI you can see the um, sacrostrum in the uh, distal tibia here and then with the uh, metaphyseal um, and epiphyseal um, involvement and then you can see um, the perforation or the uh, cloaca um, um, outside the bone, perforating and then creating this abscess um, that's subcutaneous uh, in an intraoperative uh, intra um, figure that shows um, how that looks like um, during decompression of that. Um, so complications for osteomyelitis, um, uh, most commonly is repeat, uh, if they need a debridement and it needs de uh, repeat debridement. Um, DVT and pulmonary embolism um, can be an issue as well, uh, especially for older patients or for um, MRSA or high virulence uh, microorganisms. Um, um, orthopedic and ID uh, infectious disease specialist follow-ups are important. Um, recurrence is a problem. You can see growth arrests, particularly um, around the um, 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 physis, um, pathological fractures, um, um, particularly if you can see on picture here, if, um, the cortex, um, if more than, um, if a part of the cortex, uh, cortex is involved, uh, fracture can be a problem, pathologic fracture and angular deformities as well. So summary, um, osteomyelitis is an important diagnosis uh, for children, um, uh, either caused by systemic uh, Ill, um, infection, um, or direct inoculation. Um, diagnosis again is based on history and physical labs, uh, ESR, CRP, blood cultures. Uh, biopsy can be very helpful, and MRI in certain cases, um, and also to train um, um, disease course as well. Uh, management um, comprised of uh, empiric antibiotics to start, um, and the agent we use based on risk factors. 
um, cause of the organism um, and um, local microbiome data. Uh, surgical debridement uh, reserved for certain cases that needs decompression, or if there's an abscess that needs to be um, um, controlled. Um, Long-term follow-up is needed to monitor, monitor for um, exacerbation or recurrence um, or other com uh, complications to, um, to, to that bears monitoring, like uh, fix, if it's close to a physis, um or for pathological fracture, for example. Um, other conditions um, that I wanted to include here, um, and there are an other act, uh, lectures uh, later in the afternoon, I'll talk about these, but um, that can um, mimic um, septic arthritis or, um, oste uh, um, or osteomyelitis, uh, include qu um, chronic recurrent multifocal osteomyelitis. Um, this is an idiopathic inflammatory problem um, that's characterized by this repeat episodes, remission and exacerbation. It can happen in multiple sites, and you can see it on x-ray. Um, here you can see um, affecting uh, a lot of times around joints, um, and here you can see it in the in the metaphysis in the wrist and the knee. Um, and um, um, NSAIDs is the main treatment for those, and then JIA, which um, um, is another talk I believe in the afternoon. Um, but all these are um, important to, to consider. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>